Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the first grade concept of place value, specifically how we can compose and decompose numbers by breaking them apart, putting them back together. We'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So we're going to draw some pictures of some numbers with place value blocks. And if you see this long stick, it's called a 10 rod, that's going to represent a 10. And if you see a little dot, that's going to represent 1, and 1's cube. And so we're going to look at various numbers and see how we can break them apart and put them back together again. So let's start with something simple. So if I wanted to draw the number 33, well, 33 is made up of three tens. So I can put like this, that's 10, that's 20, that's 30. Then I've got three ones. I'm just going to put one, two, three. So that's 33, because it's got three tens and three ones. But the nice thing is, is you can also write 33 in a different way. You see this 10 rod right here. Well, it's called a 10 rod because it's made up of 10 ones. So if you want, you can break it apart. I'm going to take this 10 rod, and I'm going to break it up into, I'm going to make two sets of five, just so we can see it's five and then ten. So what I've done is I've broken up that ten rod into these ten ones. Now I need to bring back the other one. So I've got two ten rods left, and I still have these three ones. So guess what? This is also 33, because this first one was 30 plus 3. But the second one is now 20, because I've got two 10 rods. Then I've got 5, 10, 11, 12, 13 ones. So both 30 plus 3 and 20 plus 13, they both equal 33. And you know what? I can do the same thing one more time. I can take this 10 rod, and I'm going to break it up into 10 more ones. So let's break that up into 10 ones right here. So that's 5, and that's 10. Now I've got one 10 rod that I need to bring over, and I need to bring over these 13 ones that I already had. So let me make another set of 10 ones. That's a lot of ones now. That's why we use 10 rods. They're a little bit easier to count. And so guess what I've got? I've got 10 plus 5, 10, 15, 20, and then that's 23. So 10 plus 23 also makes 33. If I wanted, I could break this up again, but I'm not going to do that. We know what would happen with that. We can make it with all 33 ones. Let's look at a different example. Now we're going to use another picture here. So when we see a square like this, that's going to equal 100. This is called a 100 flat because it's 10 of these 10 rods put together. So let's see if we come up with a number that is, uh, let's say, 112. So if we have 112, well, we would draw that with 100 flat, one 10 rod, and then two ones. And we know that if we wanted to, we could take this 10 rod and we can split that up in 10 ones. What happens if we split this up? So this is 100 plus 10 plus two ones. Well, if we split this up, remember that 100 flat is 10, 10. So I can do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's a lot of 10s. That's why we stick them all together in the 10, in the 100 flat. Plus, I've got that one, that one 10 that's there, plus I've got those two ones. So I've got 11 10s, or 110 plus my 2. So any number you see like this with the 10s or the 1s, you can break apart or you can put them back together using hundreds, tens, and ones.